Hi guys and welcome back to another video and today it's going to be a short little ride um, this is the first ride of the new year 2022 and man I am uh, I'm super excited to actually start riding for 2022 I want to really um, sort of uh, take this channel just just take it up a little notch you know just like in uh, sort of try and promote it a little bit more and uh, just get some more uh, action going um, and more interact with you guys which it's uh, it's been it's been so great to to get feedback and 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 help and so forth so thank you very much again for all the comments and uh, sub subscriptions and likes and whatever it's super much appreciated it, but in today's video it's just going to be i'm out for a quick little ride i'm just checking the forest um, and as you can see it is uh, it is muddy um, i'm on the s18 and what I want to do today is just talk about um, the news of the um, InMotion V12 high torque. Um, I know it's been probably covered uh, millions of times, um, but there's quite a lot of information all over the place. And um, I, just, I just want to um, talk about it because I think it's, it's going to be a really nice wheel. But yeah, let's get some riding in and then we can uh, uh, do a little bit of a, a chat. Uh, Call it conversation corner. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, we can do a, do a little chat about this uh, V12 high talk. You know the forest is muddy when it's uh, when you try and go through anywhere, and it's uh, the wheel just wheel spins. Okay, guys. So let's start with this uh, V12 high torque. Firstly, um, please, if you can, uh, give the video a big like if you do like it, um, and please subscribe to the channel. It will be much appreciated. So let's get into this thing. So the V12. Um, I've had my eye on the V12 for quite a long time. It's a really nice wheel. Um, it looks like this uh, this sort of perfect package um, between a uh, a 16 inch wheel and an 18 inch wheel or even a 20 inch wheel and it just looks like it packs a, a really good punch. Now um, I'm sort of uh, very very much uh, liking my um, my Sherman just because I can just get on it and go. And I don't have to worry about any weatherproofing and all, all, all the rest of it. On my previous ride, I had to uh, basically turn, uh, turn around on the S18 because it just started raining like really hard, and I didn't, I, I didn't really want to take that, um, I didn't really want to take that chance again to maybe uh, get some water ingress somewhere along the line and uh, fry another board. So um, I thought to myself, let's turn around, dry the wheel off, and then uh, it's. Right, another day. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, for for me, um, the V12, just the standard one, um, is the weatherproofing. You know, to to have a wheel that is uh, so much more weather sealed is a big win. Okay, guys, let's get into this uh, this uh, V12 high talk, and let's just discuss um, the few things that, firstly, I like. Um, about what I've seen from uh, videos and and also from the um, the spec sheet. And a spec sheet might change; it might not change. But I'm just going to go with the spec sheets that I have seen. And the first thing for me again here in the UK is is the weatherproofing. Man, it's 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 super ideal to uh, to have more weatherproofing. As you can see, the trails are wet and it's uh, muddy. And uh, now I had to turn around on my S S18 the other day because it was just chucking it down. And I just didn't want to take that chance. You know, water gets in, fry the board. Uh, you know, I didn't want to be without a wheel because uh, there was some, uh, there was some uh, water damage. So um, weatherproofing, you know, if, even if they can improve on the weather sealing, you know, it will be just absolutely awesome. The other thing, 
just falling onto that weatherproofing is that knobby tire. Now, a lot of guys, you know, if you ride on the road, most of the road tires are perfectly fine. Um, I've had no problems with um, the S18's tire or any of my other previous wheels tires. You know, the, the more road slash little bit of uh, trail oriented tires, they work good. They're really nice. You know, if you ride uh, road and trails that's mostly dry or even if it's frozen, um, it works perfect. The only thing is when it becomes muddy, the um, knobby tires just shine. It just really shine. And with my Sherman's tire, you know, the tire is, uh, is knobby and on, and on the road, it is perfectly fine. It just really rides very nice. Um, and again, you know, as you can see on the trail here behind me, it is nice and wet. So uh, the knobby tire would be a massive winner. So the high torque version, they say is going to have a 45 degree climb angle. Um, that's great. You know, I very rarely have to go up a hill of 45 degrees. And I see all the videos, the guys tested up a 45 degree angle. They say it's going to be a hill climbing wheel. Now, the thing is, hill climbing, in, in my case, you know, in the UK, there's not really a lot of hills. I just need a short burst of uh, getting up a trail section or something in that line. But if you um, sell the wheel, it would be quite interesting to uh, take, the hill, uh, take the wheel up a long hill. Now, if you have to ride that wheel up a 40 or 35 degree incline a mountain pass um, <laughs> somewhere in the Alps for like half an hour to an hour, I think it's probably going to run into do some issues um, because the V12 doesn't have any fans to cool it down, but it's got a massive heat sink. But, you know, if it does a 45 degree incline, climb, it gives you a lot of torque and the torque is nice because when you've got um, side pad or booster pads or whatever, you can really lean into the wheel and then it just goes. It keeps, it keeps going forward and uh, for heavier riders as well, it won't overpower or, or have any issues. So yeah, the 45 degree incline is great for me. It's not a big uh, thing, but again, it's for specific people. Um, if you live in a place where you're going to be uh, doing uh, uh, 45 degree climbs, then definitely look look at this wheel. Um, so that's the wheel. They also state that it's going to be have a more powerful motor. So that's going to be interesting. Um, you know, high torque and then a, a wider and reinforced rim. So um, again, I have not had any issues with any rims on any of my wheels so far. Touch wood. Luckily, I'm here in the forest and there's loads of wood here. <laughs> but uh, not had any problems with, um, with uh, uh, rim denting or uh, rim strikes or anything like that. Um, I had a close call on the S18 um, where I was underinflated on the suspension when I just got it. And um, there was a pothole. It was a dark section in the road. Um, the pothole was covered with water, so it looked like just a small indent and it was like a massive hole. Um, I hit that pothole quite hard. Um, I think the suspension helped a little bit, but I didn't have any issues there. The rim was also fine. So I've never had issues with um, with any of my wheels. My uh, nine bot, um, and I've done quite a lot of trail riding. Yes, I am a lighter rider, so uh, and I ride a, 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 a probably a low to medium pressure. I never go to the highest pressure. You know, like my Sherman, I was riding at 22 for quite a long time psi. Now up to 30, but I'll probably drop that down to 25. Um, the S18 also not running a very high pressure because it's quite a, a chunky tire. And I've never really had any issues. Um, on my, even my um, M Super V3, the Godway, you know, uh, doing trail riding most of the time on that wheel, no issues at, at all. But again, if they reinforce the rim and it's stronger and better, I'm happy with that. That's all cool. Um, then again, you know, it's that uh, knobby off-road tire, that would be good. They also say they also going to do uh, optimized PCB board layout, so that's cool, and more durable MOSFETs. Um, an increase of uh, max output power by 23%, so that's quite a nice addition as well. Um, max speed, 60 kilometers an hour, so that's about 37 miles per hour, again, for me, I'm just looking at how I ride my Sherman. I, I, I ride at 30 miles an hour. That's sort of my max. And again, you know, a lot of riders 
want more speed especially if you've got more open trails and you get really relaxed with your wheel 35 is probably easily achievable um, and feel very safe on like a wheel like a sherman or that monster pro um, it just it would just be like a nice cruising high speed wheel but yeah um, even if you go at 35 miles an hour you still have a few miles an hour buffer on that um, on the high torque but again you know for again my type of riding here in the UK where you know I very rarely see a 30 mile an hour um, on the roads yes but the B roads that I use to actually get down to somewhere it sometimes become like <laughs> very bumpy and at 35 miles an hour on a bumpy a uh, 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 tar road not 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 so uh, not so ideal i don't like being in the air i actually like being uh, stuck to the road in the air when you do jumps uh, <laughs> on the road on the road that's why the s18 and the suspension just keeps that wheel in more contact with the road that that is absolutely awesome so that's that that's quite interesting battery capacity max range 155 kilometers you know i'm not even going to comment on that you know we'll have to see how the range is for this specific high torque version when we get the get the wheel and more people start testing testing that wheel um but yeah for me that tire the incline more powerful motor uh reinforced rim uh, optimized PCB board, you know, all these things, if they can optimize it and they can make it better. Big old fan, man, big old fan of this, uh, this high torque version. That's the stats. Yeah, I'll put a little link of this, uh, of this, uh, of this, uh, of this, uh, um, of the screenshot up somewhere. Let's put it, let's get, some, let's make some space. I'll put it right up there so you can see all the stats that I've been seeing. But yeah, guys, um, what do you guys think? Um, you know, you guys has got V12s. How are you liking that V12? Please get me excited about the V12 so I can uh, look at uh, chopping in some wheels and change them up for V12. So um, uh, sell it to me. Uh, <laughs> I also like um, the flat sides so you can put side pads on. And yes, I did see a comment on one of my previous, uh, on one of my subscribers. I think he's a subscriber, but he was saying, no, no side pads yet. I'm saying like, yes, I actually ordered some side pads, but I'll cover that in the next video. So they are coming. It's just uh, between Christmas and New Year, they, they were late and uh, they, uh, they couldn't get it out to me. And, and, and yeah, so on the next video, you will see, hopefully, if they arrive, the side pads that I bought. But yeah, so um, the um, V12 has got nice flat uh, sides for, for side pads or booster pads. Um, I also like, um, you know, the pedals, they can upgrade that. Maybe they, they even include that in the high torque version. They upgrade the pedals. So the pedals has, has got aluminium or, or, or like a, a nice pedal. So if they can upgrade the pedals, then, then with this high torque version, that will be even, that will be even better. So uh, yeah, um, drop some comments below why you like your V12 because I would really like to really like to know you guys' feedback. And then also give me some feedback of what you guys think of uh, the new uh, V12 high torque version. Um, do you like it? Don't you like it? Is the high speed version or the current version better um, for your environment and what you want to do with it? Um, do you like, is 30 miles or 35 miles an hour fast enough for you? 60 kilometers an hour is that fast enough for you is it not fast enough for you um what do you think about uh the new reinforced rim are you happy about that don't you really care about it um what's the other thing as well this 40 degree 45 degree incline is that going to be a deal breaker for you uh, the, um the guys has got v12s do you really need more torque in that wheel because as far as i've seen this v12 looks like a super nippy wheel you know if you lean into it it actually goes um because it's a it's a smaller package, big batteries, and it's and it's just it looks like it's a it's a well designed wheel to cope with with what you can throw at it, um, even with the boosted pad. You know, I've seen a lot of guys put a lot of lean into it, and this wheel just like can go, man. Um, the other thing that I can mention from what I've seen from Ian Ian's videos in Speedy Feet is um, the the mud guard at the back. It it works, but it can be better because. Um, 
it doesn't uh, it doesn't cover all the mud splatter at the back um, something that can probably be fixed with some 3d printed uh, 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 add-on bit there that makes it a little bit wider but if you make it wider then the kickstand is probably not going to work or just something that you can click clip onto the kick kickstand that folds up or something that line just to keep the splatter off because man the s18 and the sherman with that big old mud guard it just for me and what the riding that i do currently in in the winter it just it's just uh, absolutely brilliant okay guys but yeah please drop some comments below i would like to sell the v12 to me get me excited about it and listen i i don't know it's not very difficult to get me excited but but yeah um especially about ecs <laughs> so drop some comments below why you like your v12 and what you think about this high torque version and thank you very much for watching and i will see you on the next video and have a great i hope 2022 will be an awesome awesome year see you on the next video and thanks for watching cheers guys bye